brought to you by the community of certified B Corporations. You're all having a great day. I'm surely excited to be here. Um, my name is Whitney Hills Heaps, and today I want to share with you a story that really ingrained in me why measuring what matters matters. So, for a little background, I graduated from a small liberal arts school north of Chicago, and like most graduates of a small liberal arts school, I had a lot of fun. I learned a lot, I took a variety of classes, but in the end, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do next. And so, in turn, Trying to figure that out, I found myself shortly after graduation in an AmeriCorps program in South Florida, where I served as a full-time tutor and interventionist for ninth grade Algebra One students. Um, and it was a great experience. I was in a new city with new people, making new friends, and doing something I'd never done before. It was challenging, but it was exciting, it was exhilarating. And I was being able, I was, had the opportunity to work with some really amazing high school students. But the struggle was in that I wasn't a trained educator, and I oftentimes felt incredibly ineffective in the work that I was doing. And what was worse than feeling ineffective was the realization that it didn't really matter, at least not in terms of how the organization tracked and measured their success. I learned early on in my year in AmeriCorps that the only metric the organization was tracking for its core members was the number of hours a core member put in with their students. That was it. That doesn't measure the quality of that time. It doesn't look at the, the lesson plans and curriculum that I was presenting, nor did it really assess the organization as a whole and how it was progressing. All they cared about was the hours put in. Time. And so, <laughs> this really bothered me. One, because I was the first to admit that the time I spent with my students wasn't always that productive and that we weren't always having very enriching academic gains in our sessions. These were amazing, fun, energetic young people, but the last thing they wanted to do was their math homework, and they definitely didn't want to do it with me. <laughs> and so this, this really, it was a struggle for me, and that mismatch between the indicator that was being measured and the, the ambitions of the organization, I couldn't really handle. And so I brought it up with my supervisor, and she shared with me that the reason why that was the only metric we were tracking was because that was the only metric that was defined by their funders that needed to be reported on. But, as I've said, it was the wrong metric. It said nothing about the quality of the work I was putting in, the quality of my instruction. It said nothing about the learning gains of my student. And overall, it said nothing about the organization as a whole. And so I thought about this. I thought about this a lot. <laughs> And I made sort of a promise to myself that I would never do this again. I would never be sucked into measuring something that clearly didn't make any sense and nobody had any interest in changing. And so I really wanted to learn how do you do that better. And I found myself back in school in California. And I participated in graduate school in a program called Frontier Market Scouts, where I learned all about entrepreneurship, social entrepreneurship, impact investing, and the field of impact measurement and impact management. Clearly was the poster girl. <laughs> um, and today I work for Unreasonable Group. And as a social enterprise that is completely mission driven, we take measuring our impact and the impact of the entrepreneurs that we work with very seriously. And our inspiration, really, the foundation of our, our impact measurement system stems from Kevin Starr's approach to measuring impact at the Malago Foundation. And Kevin really breaks it down into three main things. And the first and most important one is picking the right indicator. You have to have the right indicator to start. Once you have that, it's collecting real numbers, getting real data. And then third is making a case for attribution. And so I think if we had had that framework or something similar in my AmeriCorps program, there are a number of things we could have measured. For example, we could have looked at the change in test scores pre and post intervention and made a case for attribution comparing those test scores of the students we were having interventions with with students who weren't receiving those interventions. This isn't rocket science. Um, but that framework was not in place. And I want to say that I think City Year and AmeriCorps in general is having a positive change in the world, but they just aren't measuring it. And so my 
call for you all. I was going and preparing this talk. I wanted to challenge you to go back to your organizations and identify the one key metric that you would measure to capture the impact of your organization. But I think it's a fair challenge is just that I want you to be thoughtful. And I hope my talk resonates and that you are able to really think about why measuring what matters matters. Thank you.